Hi guys, hope you're well. Really quick video on ARDS and six really quick points in case it comes up in a medical exam role play or a medical exam question. What are the six key points? What is ARDS, number one? Number two, what are the key causes? Number three, what's happening at lung level? Number four, what's the presentation? Number five, what are the key investigations? And number six, what are the key management things that you're thinking about? So we'll start with step number one. What is ARDS, acute respiratory distress syndrome? Think of it like an acute lung injury that can happen due to numerous different reasons. What are some of those reasons? Commonest is sepsis, but also things like pneumonia and other problems like aspiration, things like trauma to the lung, things like overdose of certain medications, things like pancreatitis. There are loads of different reasons and causes that can lead to that collection of symptoms called ARDS. What's happening at the lung level? So the alveolus is getting filled with fluid. So when alveoli fill with fluid, then you can't get oxygen permeation into the blood as well as we normally like. So you're getting less oxygen into the blood and therefore the organs are not being supplied with the appropriate amount of oxygen. So it leads back to the syndrome of ARDS. So there's too much fluid in the alveolus. You're essentially getting a non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema and that leads to a lot of the symptoms in the presentation. So what are those symptoms and presentations? So it presents in, a, in, a, in respiratory trouble, basically. So um, shallow breathing, rapid breathing, tachypnea, dyspnea, tachycardia. Um, if you listen to someone's chest, you get in diffuse crackles, you may get reduced air entry. So lots of different presentation features, all classic of ARDS. Obviously, lots of investigations can be done, but classically, think about a chest X-ray, bilateral opacities, think about arterial blood gases, ABG, you've got that classic low PaO2, FiO2 ratio. If it gets to below 100, it's classified as severe ARDS. Lots of the investigations can be done, of course, um, and you may get features to hint of underlying causes like fever or in, in the case of sepsis, for example. So lots of investigations can be done, but remember chest X-ray and ABG classic findings. In terms of management, if you just increase oxygen flow, you're not necessarily going to get an increase in someone's oxygen saturations because the problem is in the fluid in the alveolus. So you need to go into the lung, essentially intubate and mechanically ventilate someone um, to try and improve the situation. Now, you've got to get that fine balance between ventilating the lung enough but not causing underlying lung damage as well. So it's a fine balance to make. But because it's got quite a poor prognosis, there are lots of other things that need to be looked at as well. So treat any underlying cause, of course. Think about good nutritional support. Think about... Um, you know, making sure fluid balance is all okay, and lots of other things as well that all make up the management of ARDS. So this is just a whistle stop tour of ARDS, but six really key points. Number one, what is it? Number two, what are the causes? Number three, what's happening at a lung level? Number four, the presentation. Number five, um, key investigations. And number six, management. Much more like this on our other social media streams. If you're not um, watching on YouTube, if you're on YouTube, subscribe. If you're on our Facebook page, like the page. If you're on our Instagram feed, follow our Instagram feed. We do so much more medical education teaching from a communication skills point of view and also from a clinical point of view for your medical exams. Have a look at our website, auroramedicaleducation.co.uk. Have a look at some of the online courses that we do and the audio courses that we do, as well as the day courses to try and help boost your medical knowledge for some of your upcoming exams. I hope, really hope this helps. Um, you know the hashtag, can pass, will pass. Hashtag, I went with Aurora. Have a good day.